hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the active test in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 12 community edition so after making couple of videos in odoo 14 we are back to version 12 so in this video we will be talking about the active test files inside the odoo so currently in the database i have already installed the om hospital module and if i go to the hospital menu and then to the patients and if i open any of the existing patient here you know we have already added the active button so once suppose if i need to contacts to be archive i can simply click on this button so if i go back to the patients menu and if i remove the default filter and if i switch to the list view you can see currently we have around 23 patients inside this database and if i filter active equal to false and if i click on apply so the currently there is no active false there is no patient with active is set to false so if i need to make some patients to be archived suppose there is a record with xc and suppose just think a case he left the hospital or he may pass away we don't want to keep this record so we can simply click on archive so it will not be appear in this list unless we filter active false so currently you can see we have got 22 records here and you can see if i click on active button it will be get invisible from the system so to get those records what we have to do we have to go here and we have to select the custom filter active is false then only we can see those records so there might be some case where we have to show or we have to get those records like if i click on this menu which menu suppose if i suppose there might be some case where you have to add a menu called archived patients so by default in the odoo orm so if you add a field named active inside the table that is if you add a field called active and if its value is set to false it will not be available in the menu auction so here in the menu we have specified the more or less um, patients and if when it's auto take the data auto will not take the record with active is set to false so currently when we click on patients menu we will be seeing only the active equal to true records so there might be some case where we have to get the inactive record also so for that purpose we can use this thing that is active test false so if i go to the pycharm and if i search inside the odoo source code so i'll be clicking on odoo and if i go in finding path and if you search for active test you can see its use case in different module in the python file as well as inside the xml file so let's see how we can use the active test false inside the odoo so first of all we'll be discussing how we can show the inactive records directly here without filtering active is false so currently in the unsafe in under the patient's record we are seeing only 20 records which is those records having active is active is set to true so we will be discussing about how we can show all the records without considering whether it is active or inactive so for that purpose first of all i'll be activating the debug mode so i'll be going into the settings and from the settings i'll be activating the developer mode so once the developer mode is activated you can go to hospital again then to the patients and i'll be removing this default filter so currently here we can see we have got around 22 records sorry 20 records and i have to get the corresponding menu action so i have to get the action of the patient's menu so from the debug button i'll be clicking on edit action so once i click on edit action you can see the external id of the action is om hospital dot action patient so what i will be doing i'll be copying this external id and i'll be going into the pycharm and inside the custom folder i have my module called om hospital so inside the om hospital i'll be searching for this external id that is action patient so what we have to do here is that inside the context we have to pass so here you can see we have already passed a default context that is default filter so i'll be putting a comma and i'll be adding a new key that is 
active test equal to false so i'm passing a new value as active test equal to false so let me do one thing let me search inside the source code and let's see whether the written syntax is correct or not so i'll be removing this one and let me search inside the scope so here we can see i'll be written correctly so active test equal to false so that i have done here now i have to upgrade the module so i'll be copying the module name that is om hospital and i'll be going into the database and i'll be upgrading the module so what we have done is along with the corresponding menu action so inside the patient on clicking the patient menu we need to show all the records without considering whether it is active or inactive so what we have done inside the context of the corresponding action i have add active test equal to false and i will be going into the chrome and i'll be activating sorry i'll be upgrading our module so i'll be going into the apps menu and from here i'll be upgrading the odoo development tutorials module so yet if you haven't got this module you can go to the odoo app store or you can go to our github repository and you can download this om hospital module so the module has been upgraded successfully now i'll be going into the hospital and then to the patients so before going into the patients and before we adding the active test false we are only seeing 20 records so let's see what happens now so if i remove the default filter and if i switch to the list view you can see we are seeing all the 23 records so if i click on edit action you can see in the context it has been got added that is active test has been got added so once it is added we are seeing all the records without considering whether it is active or inactive so if i remove this from the context that is if i i'll just cu cut it out and if i paste again it will be showing only 20 records that is only it will show the active records so if i remove the default filter you can see it's only showing the 20 records so in the case where you have to see all the records without respecting whether it is active or inactive what you have to do is that you have to pass active test false inside the context of the action so this is how you can add inside the menu action there will be different case in odoo search method itself so you know in the odoo or method we have discussed about the search method so by default search methods only return those active records so let's discuss how to get all the records in search method so what i will be doing is that if i go to the appointments and if i switch to the list view and if i open any of the record we have got a confirm button so i'll be using this confirm button to show this case so here you can see the action that getting executed on clicking this button is action underscore confirm and the model is hospital dot appointment so i'll be going into the pie chart and i'll be closing this file and if i go to the models and let me open the appointment dot py file so if i go to the appointment dot py file here we have got action confirm so i'll be searching diff action confirm to get the corresponding function so here we have the action confirm button so what i will be doing so these are all are the codes that we have added for the explanation of the odoo or methods so i'll be commenting it out and here you can see we have got already we have written a search method so i'll be removing this domain from the search method so what we are doing is self.env hospital.patient and search so we need to get only the count so i'll be using search count and i'll be printing how much records we are getting so if i print it here so what i'm doing is that by default odoo or method that is search search count everything will be returning only the records that is active is set to true so for inactive records by default search method will not be returned so i need to show you how to get the inactive records in search methods so for that using i'm using search count just to show you how much records we are getting so self.env model name that is hospital.patient search count of empty domain and i have just print patient so let's just restart the service as we have made changes inside the python code so that's done now if i go to the browser and if i click on confirm button you can see the count will be 20 so here you can see the count is coming as 20 so the 20 so 20 means which is active so if i go here and i'll be duplicating this tab and if i go to the patients so here you can see if i switch to list view the count is 23 here because 
we have passed the active test false so if i filter active is true you can see we have got only 20 active records so that's what it is returned from the search or search count method so in some cases we need to get active false record inside the search count so in that case also you can pass the active test inside the context so if i go to the from the finding path if i search active test inside the python code you can see with context so you can simply pass active test false inside the context so i'll be copying this and i'll be putting here so before search count just pass like this self.env hospital.patient with context active test false so i'm passing that in the inside the context that i am passing we don't want to test the active test so simply i'll be passing with contact and with context active test equal to false dot search count so let's see how much we are getting now so i'll be doing one thing this i'll be adding like active patients and here i'm naming us all patients and from the first line i'll be removing this context so we can understand the difference and i'll be printing both one so i'll be putting a comma all patient so rather than putting a comma i'll be printing it in separate line all patient and in first record i'll be printing active patient so let's see what's the difference so i have split into the two lines first one is normal search count and i have printed it here and in the second search i have passed active test inside the context so let's see what's the difference so i'll be just restarting the service and if i go to the browser and if you click on confirm button again this method will be executed and here you can see the active patients is 20 and all the patients is 23 so this is how we can pass active test false inside the context to get all the records without considering whether it is active or inactive so you just need to do this only when you need to get inactive records so there might be some case where you have to get the inactive records so in that case only you have to use this in the normal search you don't want to consider the inactive records so that's done and what is the rest of the thing so if i go to the browser again and inside the appointments itself we have a drop down of the patients this is a many to one field so once i place the mouse over here you can see the type is many to one and it's core model you can see the relation is hospital dot patient so by default in the many to one field it will be showing only the active records so right now you can see in the drop down automates is shown or you can see test hp001 is shown so i'll be going here and let me open hp1 so i'll be searching for hp1 sorry what was the name it was test so if i search for test so which one it is hp001 so i'll be archiving this record so i have simply archived the test record and if you check it here you will not be seen it here you can see the test hp001 has been disappeared or you can see right now vvv is showing inside this list vvv having sequence hp004 is showing inside this drop down so once i make vvv if i search for the patient vvv and if i set it as archived and if i look at here you will not be seeing here this is hp0028 hp0028 i'll be archiving that also and if i search vvv here you will not see that is in the many to one field also inactive records will not be displayed so in some cases we have to show inactive records in the many to one field so let's see how we can show the inactive records inside this patient drop down so first of all i'll be clicking on the debugger button and from the edit view form i'll be copying the external id of this form copy and i'll be going into the pie chart and i'll be searching inside my module for this record so i'll be changing the filtration to the xml so here we have got the corresponding form and here we have the corresponding field that is patient id so if i need to see all the records without considering whether it is active or not i can pass active test false inside the context so i'll be clicking on enter and here i'll be inside the context inside the context i'll be passing active test equal to false 
so i'll be passing like inside this inside the context so along with the field definition what i have done is i have added a context that active test equal to false so that's done and i'll be restarting the service and i'll be going into the ui and from the ui i'll be upgrading the odoo development tutorials module so from the apps menu i'll be upgrading the module so if you haven't got this module you can just download it from the odoo app store or you can get it from our github repository called odoo development tutorials so you can see the module has been upgraded successfully and if i come to the appointments form view i'll be simply refreshing the form so before this when we search the vv inside the patient form it was not there so let's see what happens now so if i search for vv right now you can see it has been coming inside now so what happens if i remove the context so here we have the context that we have added so i'll be removing this context and if i click on save button and if i search the vvv again you can see it's here so let me reload so i think it will be affecting only after the reload and if i search vvv you can see it's not there so this is how you can use the active test false in different scenarios like along with the menu along inside the search method and inside the mini to one field so if you have any queries don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and you can connect us over the different social medias like facebook linkedin and twitter so that's all about this video if you have any comment please comment it out and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel so that's it have a nice day